The nightmare didn't end with the DHS Disinformation Governance Board and its disbandment. Far from it. America First Legal, headed by Trump advisor Stephen Miller, just obtained new documents about the Homeland Intelligence Experts Group. It's a new DHS board that was created just last year in September. And no, of course, it had nothing to do with the border and with protecting against the national security threats coming across it. It had to do, dear viewer, with you. The same intel heads like John Brennan and James Clapper, who gave us purposeful disinformation about Hunter Biden's laptop during the last presidential election, are now accusing you and I of not only dealing in disinformation, but of wielding it as domestic terrorist threats. According to the Daily Caller today, quote, internal documents obtained by AFL show the board characterizing supporters of the former president as constituting most of the domestic terrorism threat in the United States. The documents also classified traits such as having served in the military and being religious as indicators of extremists and terrorism, citing unnamed research. AFL on Thursday released the first collection of documents that detailed the committee's desire to increase information collection on Americans, including getting mothers and teachers to report on children suspected of extremism under the pretext of public health. The committee cited the model of the See Something, Say Something campaign after 9-11, which was an initiative by the DHS to encourage American citizens to report potential terror threats, end quote. Thankfully, their lawsuit in partnership with President Trump's former acting DNI, Richard Grinnell, shut down this new DHS board. But it's like playing whack-a-mole because for every new surveillance tool or program or board that gets shut down, the Brennans and Clappers of our government have numerous others. That, of course, doesn't mean that the fight isn't worth it. It just means we always need to be on our toes. So it's worth asking now about what kinds of documents these types don't want us to see with our lying eyes or to hear about with our lying ears. To that end, new documents concerning Fauci and Hunter Biden have been coming to light this week. And our first guest tonight is here to break it all down for us. So join us now to discuss is attorney Hans Monke, the co-host of Truth Over News on Epoch TV. Hans, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having me. Okay, so first, what is the deal with the DHS, or is the point of the system what it does? Meaning that if it keeps spying on us Americans and ignoring foreign national security threats time and time and time again, then is that just the point of the department now? It seems like that, doesn't it? But um, you know, as you rightly suggested, I think the far bigger problem, I mean, you're gonna have bad apples anywhere, but that, that's just normal. The bigger problem is that we're not able to find out because of the uh, the problems with obtaining these documents and the fact that uh, we're always always stymied. Um, we we've learned about FOIA a lot these past few weeks. How um, these departments have uh, mechanisms within them to stymie FOIA requests. Uh, we've obviously seen that any time that FOIA requests are complied with or purportedly complied with, they come back with everything redacted. So it's. To me, it's the fact that we can't really ever figure out what's going on or only kind of in bits and pieces. 